This week, Tim puts whatever the heck this thing is to the test. The Toolbox Buzz team puts the Milwaukee mower in the deep stuff. TTC finally gets their hands on an actual NASCAR pit gun. And we have a very special guest who's filling our next giveaway shelf with over $2,200 worth of his favorite power tools. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Today's episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool, Pro Tools, Pro Service at the best prices at OhioPowerTool.com. And Flex, it's what's next. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And the boys over at Torque Test Channel have been pining over a true NASCAR pit gun, and this week they finally got their wish. This is an honest-to-God Ingersoll Rand Thunder Gun, the now-retired pit gun of NASCAR. For the 2022 season, NASCAR has left behind the traditional five-lug steel wheels in favor of a new single-lug aluminum version. That left the legendary Thunder Gun without a purpose or a home. Fortunately, one of the final models was loaned to our friends at TTC, who promptly put it to work on their dime. I know. The goal? Find out how this legendary weapon stands up against the standard daily tools of us mere mortals. The first step was to open it up and carefully explain to us why the pro version is designed completely different, obviously to prepare it for doing a very specific job and at a very fast speed. This difference leads to some really interesting tests and a lot of technical insight into a very special tool the rest of us can't have. You'll find the results at Torque Test Channel. As long as we're talking about insane torque guns, Tim got his hands on a high-torque lithium-2 torque gun, claiming a staggering 3,000 foot-pounds. But this isn't an impact gun. This is a special tool designed to accurately tighten bolts to very high, very specific torque specifications. Now, Tim actually uses guns like these to tighten bolts on his test bench for testing impacts. And after watching the video, it's obvious that Tim's a big fan of this brand and this tool. Besides its unique mechanical design, it has a surprisingly detailed LED screen on the back and even comes bundled with a manual that Tim loves so much, he actually read it. Now, because it doesn't use an impact hammer, it includes a reaction arm, which is that crazy chrome thing hanging off the front. This tool is packed with really interesting features, and Tim takes his time walking you through each one. You'll find it over at Shop Tool Reviews. Our obsession with power tools often makes us overlook hand tools, which happen to be incredibly important to many tradespeople. Fortunately for us, Doc over at Last Best Tool is determined to keep us informed. This week, he highlighted some of Milwaukee's combination wrenches, and yes, really do like the way they feel in the hand. Which is important, of course, but even more important are the many differences between these and a whole slew of other wrenches Doc brought for comparison. There's weight, finish, and even the minor changes to the shape of the jaws that make a huge difference. Meaning that while someday you might hand down your Milwaukee to your grandkid, the others you'll likely toss out. If you're ready to invest in some higher quality hand tools from Milwaukee, our friends over at Acme Tools are currently running a promotion that will save you 20% off select Milwaukee kits when you buy your new set of combination wrenches. Can't afford not to save that money. Right? But if you still need to be convinced, first head over to Last Best Tool. Now, you guys remember that Milwaukee M18 mower that was finally announced, the one everyone's been running around in the snow with? Well, the team at Toolbox Buzz just happens to be spread all over the country, and a few of their guys live in the few remaining places with grass. So they finally put it to use mowing some really tall brush, and as you can see, it doesn't seem to mind at all. This mower has been a strong point of contention between many of our viewers due to its limited runtime and high price. But the TBB boys make a good case for this pro tool being favored by the pros. It's also nice to see the new mower actually mow grass. You can find the full review over at Toolbox Buzz. And speaking of Toolbox Buzz, we have a very special guest with us today. As many of you know, a couple weeks ago, we went live and let one of our channel members choose one of our four shelves, each filled with over $2,000 worth of brand new power tools. Yep, which means we have an empty shelf and we can't have that. So instead of picking all the new tools ourselves, we thought that we'd ask some of our favorite YouTube tradespeople to fill them with their own favorite tools. Our first guest, Mr. Rob Robillard. How are you, Rob? Hey guys, thanks for letting me pick up my shelf on the show. Um, I'm going to choose tools that I use all the time. Let's go inside the shop where it's way warmer and talk about it. While Rob gets inside, we'll explain the plan. We gave Rob a budget of $2,000-ish to pick out his favorite tools. You know he's going to spend more than $2,000. Yep. All right. We <laughs> asked him to pick tools he chooses to put to work every week on the job site. Now, we're having him unveil a few tools each week until our second live giveaway on Saturday the 26th in just two weeks. All right, Rob, what do you have for us? All right, like I said, I chose cordless tools that I use all the time and hand tools right from my tool belt. Uh, I kept the cordless tools to the uh, Milwaukee brand so you can use all the batteries, plug and play, and you don't have to worry about different charges and stuff. 
First thing I chose was an M18 Fuel three-piece combo kit. It's gonna come with a half-inch drill driver, quarter-inch hex, and a recip saw. Also, um, two five amp hour XC extended capacity batteries and an M18 M12 combo charger, multi-volt charger. Um, and the other thing I chose was a Milwaukee three and a quarter inch power planter bare tool. And that's on the job site, so I can't show you that. Uh, from my tool belt, uh, Recon Medic Tourniquet. The effectiveness of tourniquets have been proven by the military guys. Good quality tourniquet costs 20 bucks, and you should have one in your tool bag at all times. Shop and truck as well. Um, and by the way, practice putting it on before you need it, and preferably try it with one hand, right? All right, uh, in my tool bag, as a remodeler, self wire voltage detector, use it all the time. My Pika auto pencil, I love this thing with the sharpener. Stanley one inch chisel, this is my beater chisel, it's not my nice chisels, but I use this to do all kinds of crazy stuff with. And then the DeWalt Tough Series 25 foot tape. Guys, next week, I'll show you what else I picked for power tools for, for the shelf, uh, as well as hand tools that I'm gonna pull from my belt that I wear every day. I can't wait to talk to you guys next week. Take care. Thanks so much, Rob. We appreciate it. All right, so we don't have all of the tools in hand yet, but let's get to the ones we do. We were able to get the Milwaukee M18 Fuel three-piece combo kit for $549 and the Milwaukee Power Planner for $229. And the rest of this week's tools are on their way here, so the shelf value so far is already over $800. Awesome. All right, I think you guys are going to love the rest of Rob's shelf. Of course, if you're going to win those pro tools, you'll need pro accessories to use them to their full potential. Fortunately for us, Spider, the official sponsor of the production crew, will be providing all the blades and bits that we need for Rob's shelf. We'll start adding those next week. Now remember to tune in every Friday as we add more tools, and if you want a chance to choose a shelf for yourself in a future giveaway, be sure to check out our channel membership program, The Production Crew. We'll put a link in the description. Speaking of The Production Crew, one of our members named Rackley pointed us to a channel that's new to us called Complete Tech Crew. While we don't know his name yet, this guy is a professional electrician who started sharing detailed reviews of his tools this last year, and this week he shared a 10-minute video just about Milwaukee's work belt, specifically for electricians. And he uses those 10 minutes to give us a more thorough review of a tool belt than, well, frankly, I even thought possible. He details all of the various pockets and features and then talks about how he specifically uses each one to get the job done. He's got many other great videos on his channel, so even if you're not an electrician but simply love tools, I suggest you check him out at Complete Tech Crew. It's February 11th and we're still a month away from finally seeing Hilti's new Neuron platform hit the shelves but certainly hasn't made it any easier to weigh. Fortunately, over the last few weeks, Dave over at Mancaver Tools has been slowly publishing more and more videos from his visit to Hilti last October to hold us all over until they arrive. This week, in part five of a series, he focuses on the new Neuron saws. That includes their new reciprocating circular and jig saws. The highlights include Hilti's first one-handed recip saw, and of course, some sweet footage of their fantastic barrel grip. Blessed, Blessed be. be. Dave said there's still one more video coming out highlighting more neuron goodness, so be sure to subscribe over at Mancaver Tools. The next story includes Heart, which, full disclosure, they sponsor our other channel, Make or Break, where Rob and I use their tools to build DIY projects every week. So right up front, yeah, we're super biased. <laughs> we love Heart and love using their tools. So when PTR decided to show off their 275-piece wrench and socket set, we were left wondering, what gives Heart? Our wrench and socket set came with only 215 pieces. Calm down. I'm just saying. PTR walks you through every drawer of this awesome set, highlighting the three 90 tooth wrenches, including a quarter inch, a three eighths inch, and a half inch size. The sockets include both six and 12 point designs, and there's even a full set of impact sockets as well. You'll also find a collection of Allen wrenches, combination wrenches, and even spark plug sockets. There are several other surprises in that case, primarily 60 more toys than we got in ours. Sarah. I'm just jealous, that's all. You can see all of the goodies you'll get at Pro Tool Reviews. We have just about every heart tool downstairs. Well, obviously not every. <laughs> all right. Recently, Jonathan Katz Moses has been obsessed with slow motion video, going so far as to repeatedly renting phantom cameras in a quest to give us all a better look at what really happens when we power up our power tools. And this week, he gathered six different styles of table saw blades from CMT and created an absolutely brilliant guide. Using that Phantom 7510 to its full potential, Jonathan gives us all a new 
look at each blade in action and helps us all understand exactly how they work and why specific blade designs are better for specific cutting tasks. There's a whole series of slow-mo videos over on this channel now, and each one is worth watching. All right, we have a really important thing to talk about before we go. Our production crew is committed to promoting the trades. Yep, and we've set aside a minimum of $1,000 per month to help. And after talking to our members, they've all almost unanimously agreed that the high school shop class is a critical part of the trades and the place where we'd like to help. But we need your help first. We've set up a special email address, shopclass at coptool.com. If you're a shop class teacher. Or a high school administrator. Or a parent with a kid in shop class. Right, and you can tell us about a class that could use a few extra tools or some financial help. We'd like to hear about it. So please drop us an email with your recommendation and contact information for the class teacher, and we'll take it from there. That was our 197th show. You're kidding. No, We're it really was. Gosh, what are we doing for the 200th? I, I haven't thought about it. Do you guys think we should do anything for that? Let me know. I want to thank Flex and Ohio Power Tool for sponsoring this episode. Guys, we couldn't do it without you. I want to thank Tom Hiddleston for watching the show. Just in case he does, because, you know, we have the same birthday and we should be friends. All right. <laughs> if you liked today's show, we could really use a thumbs up. And if you loved it, we hope that you subscribe. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week. Happy birthday, Tom!